Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and today we are starting a new campaign. Uh, it's, I'm not going to call it a mini campaign, but it's going to be a short campaign in which I explore kind of my way in how to play as Germany. Obviously, by the title of this and the thumbnail, I'm going to be playing as normal Germany. I actually haven't played or at least recorded myself playing as normal Germany as well as emphasizing how you're gonna use your navy in terms of uh, besting enemies navies so basically I'm just showing you right now everything's exactly the same nothing's changed uh, there's that custom game rules uh, playing historical AI on not uh, Iron Man save so let us get straight into it so first thing first is you gotta realize for your navy it sucks it is the worst probably in my opinion the worst navy out of any sort of major power in this game and because of that what we are going to do <clears throat> is think of our navy as an accessory as a kind of a sideshow to the rest of our military so right now what I'm gonna do uh, just go ahead and combine we my goal is by 1941 be able to invade not the USSR, but do Operation Sea Lion and capitulate the United Kingdom. That is my goal. Uh, honestly, I probably won't get to that goal, but this is how I like to play. The, this is how I want to play Germany. Not now, not how I like to play Germany, but how I want to play Germany. So really, our goal is to build up enough ships so that we can surround the, the enemy, well, you know, nation, you know, the United Kingdom. But the main goal of the Navy is kind of a distraction, in my opinion. Uh, you know what, screw it. We're just going to combine all three of these. It's fine with me. Let's do that. Uh, let's do some basic housekeeping first. Uh, I was doing that with the Army first. All right, so uh, just convert you instantly to an infantry division. That's fine. And that's fine as well. So some housekeeping first. Together with you, form a new Army group. Uh, doesn't really matter who you are. Walter Model doesn't matter. Infantry guy. Who's good with infantry? Um, Henrici, that's fine. Um, yeah, Schultz. And we want a very good tank general. So, I love von Manstein. Oh, Heinz is also very good as well. Uh, let's do Heinz because he gets a you know better promotion cost. Cool. Uh, yeah, Panzer Expert's really good. So. The way I like to play Germany, and especially when you focus on the Kriegsmarine, which sucks an extraordinary amount, so we really want to build factories, factories, not naval dockyards, because, like I said earlier, your navy is an accessory to your military. They are not a power, they just suck. It just sucks. To build a good Kriegsmarine, you have to give it a lot of time and a lot of naval dockyards to do it. So, the main goal of how to have a dominating navy is through an air force. That is the number one thing. If the enemy has air superiority, you will lose pretty much all of your naval battles as Germany. That is the main way. So fighters, not even going to use those. Why? You need heavy fighters. Because when you try to invade the UK, sure, you have fighters that can guard against, you know, enemy planes in the English Channel, maybe in the Eastern North Sea, but the way you want to invade the UK is through the North Sea. Usually, uh, you want to go through Hull, I believe, or Newcastle, Edinburgh, through Scotland, perhaps. Cut Scotland off from, from the rest of the UK. And from there, you can do, you know, invade Scotland, then invade other parts of central, southern England. Makes it super easy. But the way to do that is you have to conquer the rest of Western Europe, in my opinion. Get through the Benelux, capitulate France so they don't have air bases down here that can send planes that could destroy your troop transports down there. So, first thing we're going to do, uh, we could do Rhineland. We could do actually naval rearmament, which isn't too bad. I'll give you a few more dockyards. But for building a navy, um, I'm just going to build whatever ships I have. Uh, let's see. What we want to do first, we don't do Rhineland. Uh, we want to do kind of a gamey thing. That's, eh, it's okay. It's not bad. Uh, we will go with a four-year plan, in my opinion, first. We want to get to heavy fighters. But we really want to... Actually, right now what we have is MEFO bills. So right now, we get a little better consumer goods, but it does cost us political power. And we get a plus 25% uh, construction speed bonus to both dockyards as well as military factories. But I'm going to build mostly military factories. Instead of dockyards. So, But I always build civilian factories first. 
Um, 80% is probably best. Let's put them in Westfalen, and we'll also build some military factories as well. 80%, 80% for Rhineland, do that too. And then what I like to do is just alternate between the two. Well, until until we go to war, which is a kind of different case after that. Uh, 70, 70, 70, 80. So anywhere else has 80, 80, 60, 60. God, Germany, come on. You have a better infrastructure than this. And then that'll be good for a while. Good. Research, your basic research stuff. This is how I play, or want to play Germany. This is not how I always play. Also, someone wanted me to play as Germany, so that's why I kind of wanted to do this. Focus on the Kriegsmarine. As well as recruit SS units, actually. Um, I need heavy fighters. I really actually should begin producing a lot of heavy fighters. Because I want to focus a great deal more on my Air Force than I'm used to, I am not going to go with s infantry divisions that are made up of seven infantry battalions and then two artillery. I'm going to just go focus only on guns and support equipment and stuff like that, support companies, for my infantry division. So I'm relegating or putting my artillery production on, on hold, really. Uh, I don't mind supporting them a little bit. But we're really focusing on 40 width tanks, medium tanks, or heavy tanks if you want, which won't work as well. But we need a ton, a ton of guns. So many guns right now that we honestly shouldn't be making that many, but you'll see why. Oh god, this Navy stuff. Uh, where am I even putting everyone? Uh, send all the normal ships to Schleswig-Holstein. Honestly, these subs suck. They're so bad. Early subs. Why the little two subs? You know what, I'm just going to cancel these. They're not not—they're not worth it. They just aren't worth it. Early sub hull. You have an engine. That's thats thats literally it. Oh, it's type 2, though. Uh, 14 sub attack. Wait. 14 sub attack. Type 2 class. Type 2. So this is type 7. This has 18 torpedo attack. This has 14. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let's see. This one is... Hmm. Well, they suck anyways, but they're being made. God dang it. Oh, screw it. I'll just build them up. It really doesn't matter. Since we have Schleswig Holstein, we'll do Vesta M's. Vesta M's. Vesta M's. Yeah, these subs suck. Hopefully, I can upgrade them later on. Uh, that's fine. And then you guys go to Schleswig Holstein. These ships suck too. I mean, they, the German Kriegsmarine is just garbage. You, you need so much time to build this up. And yeah, we've got until 1939 if you want to go to war, but I don't do that. I really don't do that. Just because Stein. But just tell everyone to go ahead and just build whatever they have. It's fine. Doesn't really matter. Cool. Uh, infantry. Span the living hell out of this. Low reinforcements, low upgrades. Just get as much infantry as you possibly can into the field. Uh, let's see. Updated equipment. The subs, of course. Destroyers, whatever. Awesome. Anything, anything else? Well, let's see. We got three tanks, and what are these tank divisions like? 12 width, that's pretty garbage. Infantry is... What is infantry? 18 width, that's not bad. I'm not even going to train them. There's no point for me to. But what we will do is invade Poland first. Uh, with... Hmm, I'm well, we will have a lot of infantry coming out soon. So, before we begin, as well, just select everyone, and I just get rid of everything here. Just get rid of this garbage. Alright, now we'll set everything up the, to the way we like. And anything else? Yeah, that's good enough. I'm going to tell them to train. Go ahead and train. You, max air speed, that's fine. Alright, cool. Very awesome. Get rid of you. And then, split them up. Can you actually, you know, you only have one ace. That's fine for me for now. Uh, we're losing some oil. Let's see. Vesser M's. Oops, I sent everyone here. I can't even remember now. Sending the subs to Vesser M's and sending everyone else to Schleswig-Holstein. Alright, come on here. And right now, I mean, even the ships you have right now, you have only two battleships, two heavy cruisers. These things suck. They're really just not good. They need upgrades. So, what we're going to do is train them. We have to have naval XP. And yeah, you're going to lose a lot of your oil, but that's okay. The Seawolf, Karl Donuts, Karl Donuts, and then Echreider. Number of ships of first contact. Naval AA goes down. That's not worth it for me, because the enemy's going to have a ton of naval AA. 
Uh, I would like him, but he's an old guard. Positioning and retreat chance. A little bit less damage. I'm actually okay with a little bit less damage. If that means... Oh, theater experience gain. As long as you get better retreat chance, because playing as Germany, you are going to suffer some major casualties, and if you can have the option to retreat, that's great. That's actually really, really good. Alright, cool. Very good. Good. We're getting a little, not really much air XP. We're getting some pretty decent naval XP. That's pretty good, honestly. Because we want to upgrade our ships as fast as possible. Also, let's see. Let's actually take a look at these ships. So, the Sean Sh Holst class. If you take a look, it's really not bad, but it's really not good. I mean, you have a level 2 engine. That's not bad. Level 1 armor. Meh. You have, obviously, another module slot here. You've got a radar slot here. You have pretty good cannons, but you need upgraded AA. You need better light guns. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not good. It's kind of like, eh. That's why I really like to upgrade myself. And oil will be uh, pr kind of an issue. Of course, you're playing Germany. That will always be an issue. However, why, you might ask, why am I going to go to war with Poland first? That is because you get the factories that you could use. And... You could stall World War II if you really want earlier on. Poland early on is actually pretty easy to kill. So, I mean, it's not easy. Uh, actually, it is pretty easy. It's not very easy. You just, you know, slice them up at a time. Hopefully, you're making a lot of infantry divisions. So, and you get the factories that Poland has, which help you build more factories. And second of all, and a portion or, you know, a little tip that people might not bring up very often is... Look at this. Look at this. We are, you know, one out of four have already been used, three out of four, five out of eight. One out of eight is pretty good, you know, for how many factories you can build in these areas. The way I play, these are just going to be gone almost instantly. The, the amount of building I do, I need more land. I mean, I, I mean, basically, I need Lebensraum just so I can build more factories, so I can build a massive navy, massive military. So that's one of the reasons why I really enjoy taking out Poland first. It has so much land that can be used once you're done with Germany proper. Uh, next up. Uh, military construction speed, civilian construction speed, and dockyard construction speed goes up. That's actually really good. West Wall doesn't really matter. Uh, Gross Raumwirtschaft. Eh, that's okay. We'll go with Autarchy next. And then I might do Naval Rearmament just so we can build more stuff quicker. Oh, wait, what is this? Modify Government? Oh, I don't want to go to war with the poles yet. Actually, how long would that take? Um, actually, I might... Yeah, actually, that's, that takes a long time. 250 days? Well, that's less than a year. That's okay with me. You want to get to war with them as soon as possible. Then, since you only use 50 political power, then I'm going to go with a guy named Hajal Shak eventually. I want him eventually, but more importantly... Oh, no case. National Spain, Civil War, Civil War in Spain. You want... Martin Bowman and maybe Rudolf Hess, just because they gave you more political power, which is very, very good. All right, let's go ahead and get some XP here. Uh, go ahead and stop training, because you're not really getting me very much air experience, and you're better used than not being used. How many divisions can I send? Hans Guderian, mm, two divisions, that's fine. Take out these two. And this will give us some good army XP as well. Uh, no, no, don't do that. Uh, there you are. No, you're not. There we are. That's what we want. I'm trying to move fast so that we can get through stuff fairly quickly. Awesome. Factories are running very, very well. Let's see. No factory to sign. Speaks out against Poland. Well, when does Hitler not speak out against Poland? And how many plans can I send? 148. All right. Let's make sure we get at least some good stuff here. And we need 86 close air support. Oh, bombers, yeah. I'll just go ahead and do bombers. 86. Awesome. And you'll be doing ground support, which gives us a ton of XP. Uh, enemy plans, 30. Good. Very good. And better research speed, please. Enemy planes, please do a good job here. And you have orders. No, you do not. Now you have orders. Now I can bless you with one more of those. Divisions in National Spain. Very good. 
Uh, I'll put you under Field Marshal because we can. Gunther von Klug. Gunther von Klug. Awesome. Take out Build Bow and then the rest will capitulate. Uh, oh, wow. We can already get another modified government person? Oh, Shach. Actually, yeah, I want him as after I get Bullman and Rudolf Hess. If you actually go... You know, one thing I do like to research or look into is conspiracy theories and see... Just some conspiracy theories concerning Rudolf Hess and why he actually traveled to the UK all of a sudden for, you know, during World War II. It's all very, very interesting. So, in my opinion, it is. And look at that. The air experience is getting so much higher than what it was when we had uh, just training. And there goes Ethiopia. That's another way good. Another good way to get more XP if you're Germany or the Soviet Union or anyone, really, as long as you can send volunteers. Is that as Italians are trying to kill off Ethiopia, you just send divisions to help out Ethiopia. You can grind out a ton of army XP, and you can really hurt the Italians very well because what one of their focuses is locked behind. Yeah, Triumph in Africa. If they can't win in Africa, they can't you know do claims on Yugoslavia, befriend them, support national Spain. That could really hurt them, and I'm really expecting a Italian focus tree sometime soon-ish. Maybe the next one will be a focus on the Italian tree. But look at that. Naval XP, that air XP. Actually, since we are here right now, 1936 subs aren't bad. They're not great, but they're not bad. They really aren't. This is pretty garbage. We want... This is not a bad ship, even though... What is this? This is a... Is this Battlecruiser? This is Battleship Armor 1, yeah. Uh, before I move on, before I say something incorrect, we already have 1936 heavy ship hulls. That must be the Schonholz, then, what we are already using. But we need a better belt before I build any any sort of... Yeah, I, I have to have a better belt before I build 1936 battleships. I have to have armor level 2 before I do that. So, Because I was just taking a look at our naval XP, and I really want to boost to what we can do. Awesome, good job, guys. Uh, yeah, I'll finish off Catalonia next. Finish them off. Uh, decisions. Do we have any decisions? Uh, increased Dutch trade with the Netherlands. Increased trade with the Netherlands. Whatever. MEFO bills. Yeah, I'll use those eventually. Whatever. Second London Naval Treaty signed. Am I part of that? No. That's fine. I don't really care. Um, cool. Basic machine tools. Awesome. Let's see. Do you want better output? Which doesn't help your dockyard output. Just factory output. Uh, let's see. Factory output is 10% compared to 15%, but you get 20% more max factories. And then 10% dockyard output versus 10% dockyard output. Honestly, this looks a lot better. You get a bigger production efficiency base and retention. Less factory bomb vulnerability. Faster construction speed bonus. Um, you know, you can do the math for which one you like more. I'm just going to do disperse this time, because, you know, why not? All right, good. More infantry. Oh, that was pretty quick. Awesome. Oh, um, uh, I'm gonna need a lot of guns. I might just pute these guys out as fast as I can. Actually, do we have any new ships? Yes, we do. Good. I like to make stacks of 20 subs if I can. I do have coffee here. Hold on. And for just right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and combine these two just so that we have more people training at a time and it's just easier organization levels. Cool. Oh, by the way, I gotta make sure that you guys are actually being used correctly. More towards central Spain, thank you very much. Increase you by one, because one it will do so much more. And since we're here, just for the lols, more ground crews so we can do more damage. Hopefully more damage, and hopefully we can kill a lot more enemy planes. So that we get a very good amount of aerial dominance. 48, and... Boom. Autarky. Awesome. So we get fast military, civilian, and dockyard construction speed. Because as Germany, because German engineering is the best, you're just going to build, 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 build. Next up, uh, more civilian factories so you can build even faster. I mean, I'm, I am literally all about building. I know I said naval rearmament, but that's only 35 days. Just, if you have the civilian factories, that could, I want to say exponentially increase your production, but greatly increase it. Greatly increase it, so that's good. And I'm only building military factories right now just because we do have 
and MEFO bills, which actually I should probably pay off soon enough. Uh, we need the Rudolph Hess first. And now we get 1.73 political power a day. That's pretty good. Um, go ahead and grind them even further into them. Not bad. Look at all this naval XP. Uh, very good. You're defending, defending, defending. Oh, we have some Soviets over here. That is interesting. Very interesting. Even though the nationalists have gotten in circle and are dying. Okay, then. You know, they really want to kill this area off, huh? So there's quite a few divisions. Well, we can play around with this a little bit. I will need to ex import some more oil or some fuel or something. Uh, we're lacking tanks. Yeah, we're lacking tanks. Uh, let's see. Oh, baby. Yeah, go and just do that. I don't really care. That'll be good. Tanks, tanks, tanks. I should have done this maybe a little bit earlier. Because we will focus very heavily on tanks. Uh, maybe not 145. Eh, I'll do that first. Help support the tanks out. Yeah, that's not bad. Just keep making me more naval XP. Ah. Very good. Oh, baby, what's up? Oh, 15 days. That's fine, just go ahead and do that. Ah, Messerschmitt. Very good. Very, very good. Construction as well. 1936 stuff. Industry. Looking pretty good. That's 1937 stuff. Engineering. Reinforce rate would be kind of delightful. Belt 2. Do, can we have enough? Can we do this? Yes. I'm going to definitely do that. Not going to focus on carriers at all yet. Maintenance companies could be good, but we're not going to be in a war for very long. Um, trade interdiction. I'll probably actually go with Fleet and Bing. I think that's probably better for what we're going to do. Mm, what else? We don't need to do any of this. Eh, well, these guns actually are pretty good, but that's ahead of time. 1936. Oh, yeah, land auction. You definitely want to do land auction. De most definitely. Most definitely you want to do that. Since they're encircled, I don't mind doing this. Give them a little push. And let's go ahead and trade for... Oh, baby. Let's cancel that. And get maybe one more oil from... Well, supporter Iran. Yeah. Iran's never done anything bad. Never. Never ever. Yeah, it does hurt our production, but that's why we're building up more civilian factories and whatnot. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. Awesome. We got Tortoz. Letting the enemy kill themselves on our line. Well, oh, There goes any chance of me demonetizing this... Or monetizing this video. Uh, yeah, it's very good. Very good. Still... Not having a bunch of fuel, but that's okay. And I'm going to keep my tank here just because it looks like the enemy's going on. UK dominates it. I don't really care. We want want to get to... Oh, fuel gain per... Oh, no. We want to get to war economy as fast as possible. Um, shock would be good, but I want even more political power. I love the political power. I want to help kill the rest of these guys off. Oh, it's still never going to be able to monetize this. Let's get one more oil if we can. Speaks out against Poland. That's fine. The Soviets are trying to rail themselves against me. I'll, I'll say rail. Yeah, that, that's better. Uh, with me holding down Barcelona, I mean, the nationalists are doing pretty darn well without anything else. Oh, and we're out of oil. God dang it. Venezuela, I'm going to support you next. Very good. Yes, I'm running out of factories. Whatever. It's all, it's all for good. It's all for good. Because I need that naval XP. And that air XP. Dang. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Just for industry. I'm just going to have to go for more civilian factories since we're using more. Even though coal liquid liquidization would be actually really good. I mean, all of these things are really good. This is very good. You get six more military factories and you go to war economy. Oof. But I think this is best because I do definitely want another research slot. That will make Germany more... Make Put Germany in a better position for technology at least. Battlefield support. Hmm. 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 Also, another thing you want to know. We're going to have to build a ton of naval bombers. Just build the crap out of them. So you want air superiority and you want a crap ton of naval bombers. That's how you're going to use your Kriegsmarine. The German Navy to the best efficiency it can possibly be. Uh, Reinforcement sounds pretty good to me. I could have done some stuff for destroyers, but we're going to wait on that. Uh, you're going to need some of this, too. You know what? Plop them out. I need them. 
I need those divisions, you'll see why. Heavy fighters, yes, I will need you too. A ton of these guys, ton of heavy fighters. That's okay, that's okay, artillery will be fine. Um, keep it at 25 for now. Fuel is doing okay, we're holding out here very well. With the Republican Spaniards killing... Rabbits, yes. Yes, we'll say rabbits. Cool. Ah, they have 19 fighters, very good. Planes, very nice. Do you have anyone here yet? Nope. All right, so be it. Ah, oh, we can have one more in there here though. Look at that. Air XP, so good, so delicious. And now we're really going to get a ton of uh, political power with him. We get 1.88 a day. Even though it's not a whole bunch, that's still pretty good. And that's pretty much you're set for the entire game. You'll have so much political power you don't know what to do with. Oh god, look at all this crap we got to build. Awesome. Very good. Just holding down Barcelona is very good for us. Uh, let's see. Have any ships been built? It's already September. Go ahead and come over here. Combine. Yeah, I know. I only want 20, but whatever. This will be fine for now. And it will use up a little bit more oil. I don't really care. I... Oh. Do that. And then do that. Just so that... if I don't want any ships destroyed. Awesome. There we go. That's definitely better now. I feel a little more secure doing this. And for destroyers... Yeah, yeah. Destroyers will be really good screens to make. Mm, snorkels, very good stuff as well. Oh, wait, how about torpedo launchers? Oh, we're good on torpedo launchers too. Mm, 8450, enable XP for depth charge. Well, let's do an active sonar because you can't get a bonus for that anyways. That's fine. Oh, 1.88 political power. That's good. You come up here. Help defend. Hitler questions Polish sovereignty. That's fine. I don't really care. You know what? Extend a line over here so we can be a little bit more mobile with this. As long as this line holds, it's all that really matters. And we get a bunch of XP from this. And that's truly what only matters. How is this civil war going anyways? Current war. Spanish civil war. That's a lot of losses versus... A lot of losses. They have up to 74 divisions, up to 71 divisions. Not bad, not bad. Uh, yeah. I think, yeah, the Nationalists are just slowly winning, draining the enemy of resources. Even though the Nationalists aren't doing super well themselves. I'm just here to reap the, the benefits of the enemy civil war. Oh, maybe, maybe they're coming back with a vengeance. If I can get Barcelona done and dusted with. Actually, let's do this. Oh, wait, we can't. They decided to be smart. God dang it. You know what? I'm going to pull out. When in doubt, pull out. Alright. Uh, I'm going to do something more tactical. As much as I love holding this area, uh, I want to make sure that we'll actually be able to win. Oh, and finally get to shock. Yeah. So we can really build things very quickly. Good. Good. Tanks down here. Two divisions stacking this way. Fine with me. You're still defending that area? Fine with me. You know what? Stop attacking. We have an encirclement that we must address. Ah, oh, five army XP. Interesting. Tanks are doing good. They're doing so well that I feel compelled to add another tank in there. Do that for now. Speaks against Poland. Mechanical and computing. Very cool. Uh, smoke generators. Yes. Fleet speed while retreating. That would be very good. Make Give us the best destroyers possible. Come on, Tuaiska. Take them out. That's fine. That's fine. You're still defending. Wow. Heinz, are you getting some experience here? I hope you are. MEFO bells. We should actually be very soon, I think, to going to war with Poland. Actually, let's take a look. We have 31 divisions here. Yes, they're not very good divisions. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Add them over here. Uh, it doesn't really matter who you're led by. Even these weak divisions will be instrumental in taking out Poland early. The Polish Strat. Go ahead and 
go to him. You guys come over here. Plop them out. I need them. Because the tanks will be key to our strategy. Oh, you're down here. Very good. Come down here. Awesome. That's fine. And we can go to war with Poland already. Cool. Uh, I want to help out Spain a little bit more first. So that this way we can really be okay with everything. And give us some time to maybe help these guys out. Uh, tanks, though, early on. What's the division rate for Poland? We'll probably actually start attacking Poland with this. Let's see. If anything, actually, you guys should be on the other side of Germany here. Cut Danzig off. That would probably be better, actually. Before we actually do anything crazy here. In Königsberg. More bombers, please. And actually, you're all set up, ready to go, just in case. For that, awesome. Even more Stukas. And let's do just a little bit more in the Civil War here, so that the enemy, or the Nationalists, are very well off when we begin the next time around. Ah, uh, yes, do this. Good, radio, awesome. Uh, artillery, that'll be necessary when we go to attack the Poles. Yeah, I think the Nationalists should probably have a pretty good time now with the Republican Spaniards. Should, should. Uh, go ahead and do that just in case anyways. 38 level 38 percent war support that's fine uh do this send a lot to the reinforcements because we will need reinforcements when we do this go ahead and attack we are just clamming them down and one more i want to win one more time oh, no, extra research slots smoke generators very cool awesome let's go ahead and get this naval rearmament this one we will do Cruiser stuff, as well as doing land auction. We're doing armor. Um, something that, yeah, this. And we're going to end our episode right there. So what we're doing right now is probably the beginning of the next episode. We will go to war with Poland, who only have how many divisions? Up to 64. They might have one, maybe two divisions in a tile. Doesn't really look like it. As long as we can hold Prussia, East Prussia, and push from this side, we'll be more than fine. Uh, especially with those two tank divisions coming back. We'll have naval or air superiority over these guys. And yeah, I think, oh man, we'll really push well down here. But anyways, thanks very much for watching this episode, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we continue to build up Germany so we can take on the Allied Navy in the future. Thanks for watching.